because it's very hard to imagine how there could be a five-fold increase in natural background radiation from the sort of material that's coming from Fukushima. It's just too far away. Well, Alex, I, I'm, I'm pleased to, to be here again. Um, I, I'm a bit confused myself about what's going on, I have to say. Um, the, the, the point is that the amount of radioactivity, if you, if, you, if you do the calculations, the amount of radioactivity that's gone into the sea, um, by the time it's diluted and, and, and come, come across to America, would not be able to, on the basis of theory anyway, cause the kinds of increases in radioactivity that are being reported. Um, now, I, I had a look at, uh, I've been following, following measurements made by the, the US RADNET system, which is, which is an excellent system, you know, so long as it works, and it usually does, um, where you can see levels of radioactivity or radiation of different, different uh, energies um, plotted out uh, from a number of different stations throughout the United States. And of course, at the same time, since Fukushima, we've had a whole, a huge number of people actually buy Geiger counters and put themselves on networks where they report the measurements that they've been um, been taking. And I followed with great interest this, this extraordinarily useful development. But by and large, what they've been measuring has been radon in rainwater. And so people, you know, over the last year or so have been getting terribly excited because suddenly they get five times background or even sometimes 10, 15, 20 times background by measuring rainwater. Uh, and, I've, and I've then asked them to measure the rate at which this, the, the radioactivity decays in the rainwater samples, and usually it's very rapid, which suggests that it is radon, natural radon. But having said that, the levels of natural radon seem to be increasing, and I'm a bit puzzled about that too. Um, now, as far as the, the Fukushima radiation coming to the United States, th this report from LA and from San Diego uh, talking about five-fold excess. W w I, I followed this up and had a look at the weather patterns for those areas and looked at the RADNET measurements, um, which, which are on the internet, and where you can see these levels of gamma radiation plotted. And in fact, they plot very much on the top of, of fog banks. So if you, look at, if you look at fog banks, which of course fog banks occur a lot in California, uh, and as the fog floats in, so the radiation levels go up. Now, I think that the radiation levels would go up anyway as the fog comes in because there's more material there to cause gamma radiation from quite natural sources. But I'm not saying that's it. So I, I mean, I, having said all this stuff, I, I know it sounds a bit waffly, but I mean, I would like to wait and see somebody actually measure the gamma radiation spectrum of whatever it is that's supposed to be coming in and, and, and causing the irradiation of America, because it's very hard to imagine how there could be a five-fold increase in natural background radiation from the sort of material that's coming from Fukushima. It's just too far away.